Hello everyone and welcome to Sonia's Homestyle. Today I will be showing you how to set up and fluff a flock tree. I picked up this 7.5 foot Alaskan fir flock tree from at home store last year after Christmas when they were having their 50% off sale. The original price of this tree was $379 and I paid half of that making it $189. So make sure you shop your after Christmas sales for great deals on trees. This fabulous flock tree has 600 white LED lights and colored lights that can be changed with a button. I know flock trees are very popular this Christmas and all flocked means that the tree is covered with snow. Let's begin and open the box. There will be three sections of the tree that are labeled according to the instructions. The bottom, the middle, and the top of the tree. It also includes a folding base. All you have to do is just take it out of the box, unfold it, and set it down where you want your tree to go. We're gonna remove all the wrapping and just pick up the bottom part of the tree and insert it into the base. We're also gonna go ahead and secure the base to make sure it's tight and sturdy and doesn't fall over. We are going to gently jiggle the tree so all the branches fall into place. Just be gentle and try not to bend the main branches of the tree. I like to fluff my tree from the bottom to the top, starting it from one section at a time. So the pattern that I follow is up and out, up and out, like in a natural way a branch would grow or where the branches would look like in a tree. We're going to go ahead and do the same pattern of up and out to all the branches one section at a time. It will take a little bit of time and patience, so go ahead and put on your favorite holiday music and get fluffing. And believe me, you can do it. Here is a close-up look of a fluffed branch. Try to follow a natural pattern of a tree branch that would grow on a tree. Now that the bottom section is fluffed, we're going to go ahead and remove this cap so we can go ahead and insert the middle part of the tree. Now you want to make sure and pay attention to this part. You want to line this white line of the base of the tree to the top of the tree and simply insert it. This tree is very easy to set up. There are no wires or anything that you have to plug in. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing to this middle section of the tree. Just gently pull all the branches apart and we're going to go ahead and fluff them and follow the same pattern of up and out, whichever looks the most natural on a branch. We're simply going to go ahead and insert the last section of the tree. This tree was so easy to set up. There were no wires to deal with, nothing crazy. Just simply insert it and plug it in. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing to this section as well. Just let all the branches fall down. You don't have to use too much force. Just be very gentle and follow the same pattern of up and out. I know it's a little tedious, but believe me, you'll have it done in no time. And the next time you go to put this tree up, you won't have to do as much fluffing. Another thing you want to check for is holes like these. You want to go ahead and go back and refluff some of the branches to fill out the hole so the tree looks more full and natural. Go around the whole tree, wherever you see holes, you just go back and move some of the branches around so the tree looks fuller and you don't have to do as much fluffing later. This is what the tree looks like with its white lights on and then multicolored lights on. This tree is pretty cool. It has three functions. White lights, multicolored lights, and then the last option that goes through the whole cycle of white and multicolored lights. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will be doing a separate video on how I will be decorating this tree. Happy fluffing! Thank you for watching and please give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.